Good morning and thank you for watching Daily Market Insights. Today we're going to be talking about the volatility in the markets. And if you watch, the volatility is back in all of the markets. We have the oil market pulling back. We saw the stock market yesterday pull back 500 points at one point in time and then recovered and was still down around 392 points. And now we're seeing issues with the European markets. I want you to think about what's taking place. This is a repeat of exactly what happened in the year of 2008 and going into the 2010 housing crisis that took place during the 2008 recession. Why would the European markets affect the United States so drastically? I want you to imagine that the relationship between the United States and the European markets is a very close relationship between a brother and a sister. And if something is going wrong in one home, it typically leaks over and affects the other in the household. The question becomes is how much risk is sitting here with the markets in the United States and right now there's a ton of it and if you're watching the news today they're telling you and painting that's a bed of roses that everything is recovering it was just a blip in road it's more than just a blip in road there's a ton of underlining issues that we've talked about and have continued to talk about I want you to think about the money that you have sitting in your 401k your IRA and you're sitting in the stock market right now the stock market has seen a variable move of roughly 600 points more than 29 times in the last 120 days. We're talking about your money sitting in a market that has had the ability to be able to move over 600 points, whether it's up or down, 29 plus times in 120 days, folks. That is extreme risk. That is not a small amount of risk. That is an extreme amount of risk. That the economy of the United States is so fragile that a pre-election and some decisions that are made in Italy would have a effect on the stock market of the United States of 500 points. That is how tightly knit and how much risk is sitting in the U.S. stock market right now. If you're watching and reading the information as we've continued to ask you to watch, not just watch the news because what you're watching in the news is they're going to flip flop back and forth every single day. One, it's great. One, it's bad. One, it's great. One, it's bad back and forth and you're not going to get the real information. We're encouraging you to continue to dig into the news sources. If you get up in the morning, you have a computer, click on the links and read what CNN is watching or CNBC News or Fox Business News or MSN. Read the, the, the headline news. It's called Reading Above the Fold. Catch one and you'll start to see a common ground between the news articles, whether it's a recession, Forbes Magazine, CNBC News, Fox Business News, all of those news broadcasting sources, they're not telling you on the news, but in their news sources, whether it's a written piece of paper, an article they write, or it's in their email blast, or if you just click on their link, you'll start seeing some of the same verbiage used by multiple news sources. And when you start seeing that type of information, that is the information that you have to take note of because that's where the real source is. And you'll start seeing a trail, it's a breadcrumb trail that will lead you to the real facts and information that you need to safeguard yourself. Right now, there is a ton of turmoil that continues to build in the U.S. economy right now. And as myself and Mr. Brunson have talked in the past, we're taking measures as a country to protect ourselves for a recession that's really underway. We're seeing it develop and bubble up out of the ground, if you want to call it in that manner. It's happening in front of our very eyes, but you have to understand and see the warning signs. The general average individual that is out there believes that it is coming. They just don't know when. We're getting the warning signs at a level that we've never seen probably in the last 20 or 30 years. We, we get some soothsayers, we get some forecasters that give us some information, but you're getting information from some of the most reliable sources that are telling us that they believe that we're headed not only to a recession, but a depression. And that word depression is a really nasty word to be using in a U.S. economy that is kind of been floating and hovering there. The world outside the United States is setting up. If you look at some of the other news sources, such as the BBC, or if you can tune into some foreign broadcasting, they're going to tell you that the U.S. economy is in trouble and they're preparing and they're preparing at the highest level that we've probably have ever seen from an economic standpoint. This is something that's been taking place for years. We have to remember that the U.S. economy is sitting at a debt level that is approaching $22 trillion. That's just one portion of the budget that's out of whack. That's the number that you're hearing. The debt goes way beyond that. It is, is in the trillions upon trillions upon trillions above and beyond the 22 trillion. The U.S. debt clock is a great fundamental or factor to go or new source to go look at. You can type on your computer, usdebtclock.org, uh, and pull up the information and it'll show you all in real live numbers from the Board of Labor Statistics, the Federal Reserve and Treasury Departments, where the debt and where the money is going in the United States. The numbers are turning so fast it'll hurt your eyes if you watch it for a period of time. It's important to understand as you as a consumer that has concerns about the economy to be able to reach out and look at some of these new sources to help safeguard yourself. We are under 
the, the waves of a recession. We're heading into a recession, whether you want to believe it or not. So don't get caught up in what they're telling you on the news. Look at some of the sidebar lines that are on your news station that'll help you out. Click on the links early in the morning. Sometimes they'll be there early in the morning and they're not there at lunchtime because there's so much new, more news or uh, relative news that's coming up uh, that is out there. So all we're trying to do is you give you the best information that's available that's out there to help safeguard yourself against what is going to be happening long term down the road here in the United States. And what I am telling you is that one of the ways to be able to help protect yourself is you have to start looking at alternative assets when the volatility starts elevating like it is today. And gold and silver tends to be one of those assets to do that. To get more information about what we're talking about, we have now the 2018 uh, gold global forecast. This is new. Uh, a new product that's out for, from us, U.S. Money Reserve. This will help you safeguard. It's a, a pretty lengthy pamphlet here. It's got lots of information in regards to what's happening. Forbes Magazine, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, is predicting $1,600 an ounce by year end. That's a, that's a huge increase, folks. That's 27% increase in gold. I've been in this business a long time, and for gold to move 27% in seven months, I, I, it can happen. Uh, do I think it's going to happen? I think we see some really good gains in gold in seven months, 27% forecasted by Forbes magazine, pretty strong. Uh, CNBC News just predicted that they believe gold could be 1400 by the end of August. Well, that would put it on the same path as Forbes magazine. Why would they say that gold's going to be going to these levels? The only reason they're saying it is because they believe the value of the US dollar is under attack, and it is with the information if you've been watching these news sources from myself and Mr. Brunson over the course of the last year. And if you'll do some yourself some due diligence and just watch the news sources as we've asked you to do, you'll see the same information that we're watching. As always, thank you for watching Daily Market Insights. We look forward to seeing you later on in the week. Uh, as always, you're more than welcome to click on the link below, leave a comment. We'll get back to you as promptly as we can or give us a phone call, uh, and that which is also listed on the bottom of your screen. As always, thank you for watching Daily Market Insights and uh, get yourself a free copy of this and this will help you out.